Hello everyone, welcome to St. Clement's for our last collective worship of 2020, uh, because next week is the end of term. Uh, so we're going to start by lighting our next Advent candle. I explained them a bit last week. During Advent, during the lead up to Christmas, we have a special season. We light one candle each week, much like you might open an Advent calendar every day at home. Well, we light an extra candle each week for the four weeks of Advent to help us kind of think about Christmas is coming and to get ready. Uh, and to kind of remind us that um, it can be an incredibly busy and exciting time. And we definitely want to have that busyness and excitement of Christmas. Uh, but in the run up, we also want to remember, make sure we're ready to remember what Christmas is really about. Uh, and it's not just about presents. There's other things it's about as well. So we think about the people who came before Jesus through our Advent calendar as we get ready to welcome Jesus on Christmas Day. Last week was the first candle, this one, which is the people of the, right at the beginning of the story of, of God and his people. People like Abraham and Sarah and Isaac and Ishmael and uh, those we call the patriarchs and matriarchs of old. And the nice thing about those stories and those people is we share those stories with uh, Jewish people and Muslim people as well. They're part of our common heritage. The next one, which I'm going to like now, is for the prophets. The prophets uh, were those people sent by God uh, to call his people back to being faithful to him to remind them of God's ways of love and justice and mercy uh, and to stop being selfish and self-centered and hurting other people, but to be people of peace and love. So those were the prophets. Uh, so it reminds us that we're supposed to be those people as well. Uh, people of peace, people of mercy, people of love, of kindness, of sharing. Uh, but the prophets were also brave and courageous they stood up for what they believed was right. And that's what we, we need to do as well. Be kind, be gentle, be loving, be brave and courageous. That's what the prophets remind us to do. So we're going to carry on lighting our Advent candles uh, during the next two Sundays uh, in church. And then on Christmas Day, we light the uh, white one, reminding us Jesus is the light of the world. Christmas this year isn't going to be like other years. There's lots of things we can't do. Uh, we normally have big carol services in church, a formal traditional one, a, an informal one. Uh, we can't really do that this year, so they'll all be online. Uh, we can't have big parties like we'd normally do. We can only have smaller select gatherings. Um, and it comes at the end of a, of a strange year, Christmas. Uh, this year has been really roller coaster, hasn't it? Ups and downs. Uh, it's had some darker times, times of worry and sadness when everything, everything changed and we weren't quite sure what was happening. Uh, but it's also had times of kind of lightness and, and amazing things. Some people have been so brave and courageous. Uh, some have been so kind and caring, uh, so loving. Um, so a real mixture as we come to the end of the year, as we come to Christmas. And part of the message of Christmas is that life, yes, has its darker times. Times when things can be worrying or sad or just tough and we need to push on through. Uh, but into that darkness comes the light of Christ, comes the Christ child. Because the Christ child grows up and reminds us that the darkness can be pushed away when people are kind, when people are loving, when people are brave, when people are generous to one another and giving to one another. Uh, we give presents at Christmas to remind ourselves of the great present of the Christ child who God sent to remind us of his ways of love and kindness and generosity and sharing and mercy uh, and justice and peace. So Christmas, 
end of a strange year. But the message is always the same. Yes, there will be times in life when things are a bit tough, when it feels a bit dark. But if we can be kind and generous, if we can be a light to other people and ourselves, that darkness gets pushed back. Uh, the darkness will always get pushed back. So I'm going to finish uh, this uh, week with a blessing, as it's called, a special prayer blessing. Uh, and then I'm going to show you a little clip from the uh, Christmas tableau on Christmas Eve we're putting on, telling the Christmas story. Um, so first of all, let's pray. May the joy of the angels the eagerness of the shepherds, the perseverance of the wise men, the obedience of Joseph and Mary, and the peace of the Christ child be yours this Christmas. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Take care. God bless. Merry Christmas.